Welcome to part one of our level focused social influence videos. We will explore the three main types of conformity, internalization, identification and compliance. Quick question, have you ever agreed with a group even when you believe differently? And how do you think peer pressure influences your decisions in social settings? Interestingly, as we will see, this can be conformity. Let's explore the different types further. One, internalization, meaning internalization happens when we genuinely accept and adopt the group's beliefs as our own. Privately, your internal belief changes and publicly your external behavior changes too. A real example of this would be if you spend time with environmentally conscious friends and begin to believe in and practice recycling, that's internalization. A relevant study that demonstrates this is Sheriff 1935 Autokinetic Effect Experiment. Sheriff's Autokinetic Experiment involved participants estimating the movement of a stationary light point in a dark room, a phenomenon known as the autokinetic effect. Over several trials, individual estimates converged to a group norm, demonstrating the power of social influence in ambiguous situations. Let's briefly evaluate Sheriff's study strength highlights the role of informational social influence showing how individuals look to others for guidance in uncertain conditions weakness the artificial setting and lack of real world applicability limit the generalizability of the findings to everyday situations ecological validity two identification meaning identification occurs when we conform to the expectations of a group that we value and want to be a part of in the presence of this group, your opinion and actions change publicly. Privately, you also adopt the group's beliefs. For example, you notice that everyone in the group wears the same shirt, so you buy that shirt and begin to wear it often. That's identification. A relevant study, Zimbardo, 1971, the Stanford Prison Experiment. University students were assigned guards or prisoner roles in a simulated prison environment. Over just a few days, participants exhibited changed behavior and opinions that reflected their roles to such an extent that guards became authoritarian and abusive, while prisoners became passive and distressed. This study vividly illustrates the concept of identification, where individuals adopt the behaviors and attitudes associated with a given group. Evaluation of Zimbardo's study, strength, the experiment provided powerful empirical evidence of how social roles and environments can significantly influence behavior supporting the concept of identification in social psychology. Weakness, there are major ethical concerns that question the ethical validity of the findings. Further, the artificial settings raises questions about the ecological validity and application of the findings to real world settings. 3. Compliance Compliance occurs when individuals publicly conform to group norms or expectations without necessarily believing in or adopting those norms privately. A real example is when your friends laugh at a joke you don't find funny, but you laugh with them anyway. That's compliance. A relevant study demonstrating compliance is Ash 1935 line experiment which investigated how social pressure from a majority group could influence an individual to conform. Participants were asked to match the length of a line to three comparison lines in the presence of confederates who intentionally gave incorrect answers. The study demonstrated that many participants conformed to the incorrect majority at least once, illustrating compliance. An evaluation of this study, strength, the controlled environment. The experiment was highly controlled, allowing for precise measurement of variables and clear insights into the influence of social pressure on compliance weakness ethical concerns participants were deceived about the true nature of the experiment raising ethical issues regarding informed consent and psychological distress let's summarize what we've learned there are three main types of conformity internalization refers to the process by which individuals adopt a group's beliefs values or behaviors and make them their own, leading to a permanent change that persists even in the absence of group members. Identification refers to the process by which individuals adopt the attitudes or behaviors of a group because they want to be associated with that group and gain its acceptance. Compliance refers to the process by which individuals publicly conform to the behaviors or attitudes of a group while privately maintaining their own beliefs.
that's the end of this video. Please like and subscribe and keep an eye out for part two of our social influence series.